Hello everyone, it is time to share my Red Mage setup. If you wish to copy this exact setup, it is in the description. If you used the setup I made last expansion, this should be fairly familiar with a few tweaks. Let's get started. On the primary bar on the right side, we have our GCDs. Notice that for Arrow and for Thunder are set up to reflect the gauge bar, at least if you're using the standard one. If you're using simple mode, I will provide an altered setup at the end to allow it to match that as well. On the deep hand, we also have Verstone and Verfire. This takes care of our main GCDs until we get to the melee combo. But before we talk about that, let's go into the right double cross hotbar. Here you will have Lucid, Surecast, and Addle in the same spots you'd expect as any other jobs that have such actions. And Bolden is in the common spot for party damage buffs, and Koraka is in my designated jump ahead location. Magic Barrier is in another location that is also commonly used for party mitigation. This leaves one spot left and it will be for acceleration. I will talk about it a bit more later. At this point, however, we will switch to the left side for our melee combo. I like starting from triangles, so it goes 1, 2, 3. The abilities on the D-pad follow that same principle as potency-wise, it goes flesh, contre-sixte, and then engagement. Or displacement if you need that jump back. Overall, it makes the opener very easy as you go 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. I am using the opener from the balance but you can use engagement and then call call instead of the other way around. This makes it a bit smoother. Flash is also on the right side because it has the shortest cooldown while also having the highest potency, so it's preferable not to be late on using it. By keeping it on both sides, it should make it easy to keep track of its cooldown. Engagement is also there to make it easier to access if you do decide to use call call first and then engagement. Let's talk about AoEs next by going on our Expanded. We have a similar setup as the primary with Impact, Ver Arrow 2, Ver Thunder 2, and Mulime. On the D-Pan, we still have the same abilities. Even if you're doing AoE, the single target flush still helps to kill things faster. If you wanted to use Acceleration to make your Impact stronger, you would go into the Double Cross Hotbar. In the previous expansion, I had Acceleration on the primary where Flash is, but it made sense to move it to make its cooldown more visible. You might notice I also have it on the left double cross hotbar, so let's talk about that. You will notice Swift Cast, Verres, Sleep, Limit Break, and Consumables. These are in the same locations as Summoners and other jobs. Acceleration is repeated to make it easier to use if you want to use it right after Swift Cast. The rest of the time, you would likely be using the acceleration on the right double cross hotbar because that is where your muscle memory would be building given that my builds favor the right side. And that is the setup. Let me show it again really quick. The primary on the right, primary on the left, double cross hotbar on the right, double cross hotbar on the left. And no, I do not expect you to use a super potion, that is a placeholder for your real tincture. And the expanded, which I keep the same on both sides. Sprint is on macro number 99, you can use that by going to system configuration, gamepad settings, button configuration, and putting one of the analog clicks to macro 99. I'm using the right click in so that way I don't have to click in the left analog stick while I'm moving, which is when sprint would likely be used. I call this the primary cross hotbar, for me this is set 1. Above is a double cross hotbar, I have this on set 3, and you can configure this in character configuration, hotbar settings, in both the cross and custom section. You access this by double tapping. I do have the expanded enabled, this is by using both L2 and R2, or R2 and L2. I have this set to set 2, and this is customizable in character configuration as well. If you would like to learn more about this, I do have a video specifically on my customization settings, and there should be a card that pops up right now for you to click on if you wish to see it. And that is the end of the setup. I am trying to catch up on all of the controller setup videos as quickly as possible. Next up will be Black Mage, after that will be Miner and Botanist together, and then I have to decide either Physical Ranged or Melee DPS. 
tanks will be last since Paladin is getting some kind of rework next patch. And with that, take care, hit that like button, I guess, and bye bye.